first, how it feels, first state championship in school history? I mean, it definitely feels great, you know, but this is something, you know, we had all along, worked all season for, you know, practices, is tough, and this is something, you know, we ex we kind of expected, you know, we expected to be here, we expected, you know, to play our heart, heart out and, you know, try to come up with a state championship, which we did. That all the t I mean, y your emotions just, just been a roller coaster, must have been those last few minutes of regulation and then in overtime, too. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was, it's easy, you know, we had a couple people tearing up, I'm like, yo, guys, you know, we got to Calm down, calm down. We're still in the game. It's not over, yo. I was like, we stick to what we know, which is play defense and keep working to keep, you know, using each other. We're gonna win. I was like, guys, don't worry. I prom I promised my team at the end of the, the third reaction, quarter. They, they look like they drew that play up in regulation. They ended at the corner three for the fouls. Um, were, you, were you looking to foul up, up three there? No, 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 no. That was def def no, definitely not try to. You know, we didn't try to foul it. We just wanted to pressure up the side. I mean. He got his hand, I guess, obviously a little too close, but, you know, he got it. He hit, you know, very close three throws. I mean, those were great, you know. That was the greatest opponent all year, you know. So that's Coach Shepard's strategy there, just let him try to be your hero when, when like, in, in that situation? Yep, just pressure the shot and see if you can make it. Talk about this defensive effort to hold Mansfield to 48 points. Excuse me? Talk about the defensive effort to hold a, man, a team like Mansfield to 48 points. I mean, that's what we've been. That's what we held our hat on all year from the beginning of the season until now. So we was like, you know, don't stop what we're doing now. Don't try to switch it up for any team. Continue to do what you got to do, which is play defense, and you know we'll be successful. You guys were leaking out of possessions early to start the fast break there, and they never really adjusted to it. Did you guys feel going into the game that you had an advantage in conditioning? I mean, yeah, the coach conditions us well. You know, that's what we said. We're the best. We said we were the best conditioned team in Western Mass. No, I guess we're the best conditioned team in the state. So, you know, we that's that's what we like to do. We're defense, try to get easy layups, you know. If you can get an easy layup off a fast break, why set up and run an offensive play? How you know how important was perimeter defense going to be going into this game? You know about how, how, how their affinity for shooting perimeter shots. Maybe not always three-pointers, but just get, getting out there, spacing themselves, making the extra pass, quick passes there, uh, skip passes and whatnot. How important was perimeter defense going to be going into this game? I mean, it was very important. That's the MO we got from them, you know. They shoot threes, they shoot threes, they live and die by the three. I mean, they definitely lived off the three today, you know. They were, they were hitting them when they were open and them with pressure, you know, they were just really good today. They were great. How would you rate this game uh, on the year as far as physicality? Um, it was definitely, it was, it was physical, you know, but, you know, I didn't get a lot of calls, but you can't, you can't live off the calls, so, you know, you can't expect the ref to call a game, but it was, you know, it was pretty physical. It was probably number two, number one, yeah, number one, two. First time about a decade that Western Mass has won two in a row D1. What does this mean for the city of Springfield going forward? Not just you guys, but the city itself and the culture. You know, to show that, you know, Springfield does have talent, you know, because I felt like, you know, especially my younger age, you know, freshman year, you know, you wouldn't hear of a lot of, you know, people all coming out of Springfield, you know, being successful, you know, Springfield does have talent, you know, I feel like we need more people, you know, more teams and stuff to showcase, you know, like Putnam last year, you know, won the Super Bowl, that, you know, that's great, you know, Central, I don't like to mention Central that much, but they won, they, they won the Super Bowl this year, you know, they won the state championship last year, and I was flipped, we won the Super Bowl last year, we won the state championship this year. But there, there was, there was, there's some tension there, obviously, you played them in the final there, you, you, you played them in football, yeah. uh, you saw them here last year, Cornelius Tyson, you know, it's like, you just, just, what is, you know, that, obviously, you guys built a lot off that, and, and that conditioned you guys for this level of competition, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, Central is a good team, you know, and I, I'm glad we beat them by the margin, you know, we did. It was a great game, though, you know, I, res I definitely respect all, you know, their players and stuff on, on that team, you know, they got a lot of heart, they got a lot of talent, very, a lot of talent, but, you know. How, how are you guys celebrating? Oh, you know, we're going to stick together, you know, read a couple books and <laughs> watch the game after. Cool. Appreciate you, Juan. Thank you. We'll see you. Thank you.